Hi guys, welcome to Trapper Shop. My name is Kurt. I'm Butter. I'm Morgan. And I'm AJ. And today we're doing our review of Suicide Squad. Our I know first we're a little bit late. Movie review. But that doesn't matter, okay? Because we have a lot, of, lot to talk about. That we are fresh off the screening of Suicide Squad. We literally Claus. saw this movie not 20 to yeah. 30 minutes before the filming of this actual cast. We got it's very say. fresh. It's a very, so, very fresh. I, I guess I'll just start it off. So, um, what I thought of the movie, when I first saw all the trailers, oh saw everything about it, I kind of felt I had already my preconceived notions about it. I had two ideas already right off the bat before mm -hmm. I saw the movie. It was going to be, one, I'm not going to like the Joker, yep. and two, Harley Quinn is going to steal the show. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like neither happened because... There was no time for anything to happen. What I would say is they need to cut 10 minutes from the movie, but add 30 minutes to the movie as well, to give a lot of like pacing to the movie yeah. and a lot of meaning to other stuff, because I feel like they didn't set up a lot of the characters too well. Everything was just like kind how of, Batman versus Superman. Yeah, was, like basically. how Batman they had a very they threw everything it, it was, in. There's a lot pot. of kind of parallels between that too, and same I, universe. And I feel like there wasn't um, a lot of. You know things to show that not a lot of stuff happened in the movie that was worthwhile watching. Like there yeah. are a lot of little details, yeah. but not yeah. enough. Like there, there were so much Story bad about things about the movie that the good things yeah. were overshadowed by how much everything bad yeah. things. And were if someone the was movie. like, "Hey, yeah. what like shot like defined the movie?" <laughs> I'd be like, "There's this one time where they like met the clickers from The Last of Us <laughs> the first time, and like they were all kind of fighting them for, for the first time. Mm -hmm. And there's one like shot where like Killer Croc goes to like." Rip open the like the jaw, like the like uh, jugular of like one person, oh, yeah. and boom, it just like cuts right before yeah. that happens. <laughs> and I feel like that's the epitome of the fucking movie. Like there's yeah. no time for anything. Nothing is fleshed out whatsoever. It's it's all tease and no execution. Like yeah. literally, it's yeah, literally a cock tease of a movie. You get everything you hope and dream. But nothing! There was kind of like two scenes in the movie that kind of also went off on that fact, like that happened. Mm -hmm. um, there was this one where like, where Joker was talking with Harley Quinn, yeah. and she's like, oh, you need to jump into the, the vat of acid. And mm -hmm. and she ends up jumping, and there's this shot of her kind of like falling into the vat of acid, and it, like she falls into it, and it shows the vat of acid, but it's for like half a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it says Ace Chemicals on the, you know, the side of the thing. Which and is I feel like the chemicals there's company a lot that of made the Joker. That just needed a couple seconds more to like flesh out the idea, and there was an also... What was the, the, the black lady's name? Um, Viola Davis. Viola we don't know her name yeah. in the movie, um, but she's okay. a badass Ama bitch. Amanda Waller. Amanda, Amanda Waller. Waller, yeah. yeah. Who is a B -A -B. bad, you don't fuck bad with Badass okay. bitch. Okay, so I feel like, I feel like, formation. there was a one point where they saved her, and all of a sudden, boom, she's like shooting everyone in there. Like, what, they didn't <laughs> set that up at all whatsoever. There was a huge, mm. huge pacing well, issue for too, that movie. Well, it's more like, they they explained that like you don't fuck with this woman like and through all everyone's really afraid wanted, of this like, woman put this in and then head. you know what how do we make her, us more afraid you're just gonna kill everybody in the room and it's yeah. gonna make sense I have to piggyback on you guys with the acid thing because I didn't even know it was acid to be honest with you it looks just like a whole barrel of cum. <laughs> a cold, a cold barrel of cum. <laughs> like, like, no, 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 she turns like, to me in the movie. Oh, I'm like, it's, it's like when like, she oh, comes out of the pool. It's like, oh, I've seen that before. Yeah. Like, it's Wait, all like, over her face. Kind of and shit? Shit? And, and, and chemicals and like. <laughs> Chemicals. Be, also, to like say say something about the pacing too. It's like <laughs> to begin with. Like, I don't think Margot Robbie had time to develop her character whatsoever, and. She could Obviously, so much, yeah. every one of you can agree that the Joker was not in it. What so fucking ever? Nope. Can they I? didn't define the character whatsoever, and I hate to always, always compare the Joker to you know the the, the Dark Ledger. Knight, the Heath Ledger one. Yeah. Yeah. And it's I hate hard not to. eight years ago, but like what the, an Oscar. He did. He flamboyant, he died. shitty tattoos, and everything aside, like they just didn't give enough pacing or enough like set up of the actual character. It should have been the movie was based on her character growing. Yes, and that would have made With, the movie like, a lot better. Better, away but from the Joker. Just yeah. Her, yeah, but they didn't. They, they made it like about the whole thing, exactly. made it way more complicated and than I necessary. And I feel like it had a Batman versus Superman problem where like the, the, the weird guy Thank with the you. extendy arms was the doomsday and Joker was the Batman versus Superman complex, yeah. complex where like I want to see a Batman versus Superman movie if we're going to call it <laughs> fucking Batman versus yeah. Superman, not Justice League prequel. Yeah. And like there was no Thank Joker you, Justice whatsoever. League prequel. That's yeah. literally what that Justice was. League okay, prequel, back to Suicide. And this one is just like pandering. <laughs> and, I just, I don't know. One <laughs> thing that I bothered me is, spoiler alert, <laughs> Um, I love the Joker. The one thing that defines the Joker, not only the look, the smile, the, the attitude, mm -hmm. is 
The laugh. The laugh. Now, <laughs> in the trailer, we got a really cool, creepy laugh. Uh, Jared Little talked about his origins of a laugh. Yeah. Everything like that. Um, I will say this in the movie, it does sound like a goose being punched in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> and I feel and I feel like <laughs> He's not the Joker because it's like when she jumps off, I feel like the Joker would have just pushed her and then jumped out of after. Or like where she fucking might, might the guy him. from True Blood Holt is his like right hand right. man. It's like, dude, the Joker doesn't need a right hand man. He knows he every step right ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. And if he did have a right hand man, that guy would have been fucking dead. Not like, uh, hey, we got <laughs> incoming. Yeah. Also, when they got crashed in the helicopter, oh, nothing. Yeah. They walked out like it was a Tuesday morning. I feel like the Joker was in the Purple Lamborghini music video more than the actual <laughs> fucking movie itself. <laughs> it's like, he was the most ridiculous character when he came out. It's like, we're supposed to be afraid of this guy? But He's like, in fucking gold they didn't, chains they didn't and like set him up properly. Oh gosh. Now. And they really, they could have, they could have, and it would have been really cool if they did. Dirty. But like no one knows why he is how he is like okay. that. And they like, really did what? set up him and Margot Robbie's relationship. relationship. Well, oh, they did. Wait, like, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say something about that. There's one scene in the movie where they're at, we're common for some reasons in the movie. It's like, I like that bitch. Hey, I love, <laughs> hey, common. And it's like he's like, oh, I like her. The Joker would have never, no. would have never well, let never somebody get, that, guy, get that, that far with, and like yeah. be with cool buddy. with it. That, with, with his pudding. And like, as much as she calls <laughs> him pudding, no matter what, the Joker, Harley still has the only place in the, if the Joker has a if heart. If he has a heart, he's yeah. the, She's the only person that yeah. would actually be close to him. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it was like, oh, I'm just gonna let my girl do whatever. Fuck this guy for me to be better. No, fuck, uh, that ruined. Oh. Everything he does though is a mind fuck. So let's be honest, that could have just been a mind fuck he was doing with comedy. But still, it didn't come on across. I wasn't yeah, really is, like. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, you, that is correct. But it didn't come across. It did not come across. Nothing but it does if you know the character enough. You kind of know. Oh, he just yeah. playing this dude to fuck with him and kill him. Like, yeah. But I if feel you like don't, that's kind of their 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 mindset for the whole movie. They too. expect you to There's know. Like, you know these characters. Mm -hmm. Like when she like brought out her mallet. She like it was like oh yeah, for a second. I know what that is. And like pandering kind of to like the audience her, her already. Outfit. When she okay. pulled out. The, the, the red and black now, outfit. They, they, they the do like him. they do a flashback. That classic, that classic Joker. Classic Joker. Now, time out. They do a kid in high school had that T-shirt. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they do a flashback in the movie to where Joker and Harley are doing this like little dance. And that is taken directly from the books. That's an Alex Ross cover. Yeah. And I love that. That beautiful was like cover. little beautiful, beautiful cover. The best. Like they, they do so many of these little things in the movie. They're like, I love it. But, but it, you killed it. it. You killed like Margot Robbie, or whatever Robbie. Robbie. She is probably the best part of One. that. Will Smith. Will Smith. Okay, Will Smith. time out. Time out. Time Will out. Time Smith out. Time out. Time out. No. Time out. But Will Smith was not a home run, and neither was Margot no Robbie. No one. No one. But it's like, as much as these were the best parts of the movie. They still were shitty. I didn't. There's no, there not even RBI's they did all these in the goddamn movies. Run that it in. in. Like there was just nothing. <laughs> they did all these reshoots this for all the fucking movie. To or make it even funny, a, a walk. Yeah, <laughs> baseball ground, terms. <laughs> ground rule double. We like sports. They <laughs> do. But it's like they ruined <laughs> all these yeah. characters. It's like, come on, AJ. You have to agree that Killer Croc was fucking ruined. Yeah. Like, what the fuck was Killer Croc? Killer, Killer Croc is probably. Uh, another one of my villains that I think is pretty interesting, like a really, yeah. it's like one of the characters in the DC universe that is very fantastical, like very yeah, different, very weird. Sure. He's a giant crocodile. Yeah, he's a giant croc. He's literally a crocodile guy. <laughs> crocodile man. And I, you know, I was really stoked on him. You know, I saw a lot of his like, you know, mannerisms, and yeah. I was like, I get it. He like, tried. He's, he's swimming. He's a swimming guy. Can we just yeah. say how terrible he looked though? Like yeah, he yeah. looked like a, a really fat. His like, head was probably. bigger than his body. He looked like, like a fat. Like Old what? boxer, like he was just out of shape and he like, like, he just had like bitch tits. All the black <laughs> stereotypes were saved for Killer Croc at the very end. Oh. BET! They, they did their thing, and like they kind of went to everyone, like, what do you want? And yeah. they go to Killer Croc, he's like, I want BET in my like. You couldn't just say I want television. Kurt, like, wait, she's Kurt Christ. laughed so hard, he was like, The whole crying. theater laughed. It's like, no, hilarious. No, Drinking Hennessy, eating some pie. It's so funny. Not the, not the laughs that it wanted, yeah. but the laughs. The laughs were laughing like uncomfortable it. laughs. And I turned around, like, if he's not watching BET, if they don't show him a shot watching BET at the end of the movie, I'm gonna want my money back. And he's sitting and there eating a Big Mac 
watching fucking BET. Like, and he's well, like grooving too. And I'm just he like, might as well just be like, I want fried chicken. Like, Jesus Christ. That's stupid, man. Don't do that, man. Come on. Another character that, okay, he, oh. he really was good. I know who you're talking But about. they exaggerate his character, El Diablo. Oh. His character in the books it's not the same in the movie. Morgan, can you please hand me oh, the yeah. DC Encyclopedia? Wow. This is the DC Encyclopedia. And it has every character, including one Mr. El Diablo. Now, would you like to know what his powers are? <laughs> yeah. Yes. An expert marksman and horseback rider. Well, good thing horseback riding is going to yeah. come in hell. There was a lot of horses in that movie. We saw that a lot in that. That. His movie. body can perform amazing feats of athleticism. No. So well, he can run? Not fire. No, Nothing fire. about fire. He didn't do shit in the movie. He wasn't athletic at all. Not at oh. all. He grabbed that lady's butt. Oh. There's, there's a, in the El Diablo 2. Oh. Now, Here we go. Maybe that's the word fire. Here we go. An accomplished athlete trained in boxing and martial arts. So he didn't use any of those skills. Again, nothing about fire. One of my biggest problems with the movie is DC has Marvel to compete with. Mm -hmm. No matter what, Marvel's been killing it with the movies. Now, yeah, I'm not yeah. saying Christopher Nolan's Batmans aren't good. They're definitely yeah, I mean, seen. they're like my favorite movies of yeah. all time, so. They're, that's the Joker you need to least yes. see. They're just really trying to make these movies, like, really good, but it's like... Trying to be on par with Marvel. Oh, it's trying to be on par with Marvel. Now, okay, so they, they did a bunch of reshoots to make it more like Deadpool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's one thing in the I movie that really sticks know. out that really bugs the crap out of me. They decided to throw every popular classic rock song in just yeah. so you would be more entertained yeah. and more drawn to the screen like Guardians and Deadpool. Yeah. And you're I like, these are though. awesome songs. But there's not shit going on, on the screen that I care about. I just don't know how to fix the DC movies. It's like it's like for example for Batman vs Superman, Nolan. they looked at they looked That's at what we need. they looked at Avengers and Avengers Two. Like mm -hmm. we gotta do this. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. for this movie, they looked at Guardians of the Galaxy and they looked at Deadpool. And they're like we gotta do this. And These I feel are the most popular they're just movies. rushing. They're just like get it out there, get it out there. Let's catch up with them. Let's catch up with them. Like they don't. Unlike need Marvel, to do they don't give it the Take time to like time. do yeah. it. Take Batman vs Superman Slow came down. out before Civil Thanks War. And they wanted to push it and make it like, yeah. oh, it, it, we came up with the idea first. Mm -hmm. But it's just you rushed it and you guys didn't take time to make it what it was. Yeah, Batman yeah. versus Superman was two movies, and I feel like this movie was kind of a little bit. Yeah, too Batman versus, versus Superman. When we saw it, literally, that's what I said. This should have been two movies. They should have cut it at a certain point in this movie. Yeah. Let it be a certain another one. Uh, my concern with the whole entire movie and movies that have been coming out and movies about to uh, come out about to come out is i feel like we're living in this like clickbait generation where <laughs> what looks know, cool what looks cool is what we want the rumors are that the movie was actually edited yep. by the people who did that trailer yeah, itself that too. Oh, which really? is what i heard not yeah, confirmed like, but that's added, what i heard yeah Hence and that, why, that, that yeah, never really happens. There are the people internet, who do the trailer. Millions of fucking yeah. yeah. But again, though, it's hard to say that. But they're I'm definitely kind of shocked if that's the case. To be honest. And with that being said, it's like that's how I felt the continuity was. Yeah. And yeah. us coming out of that movie, um, we're a little bit older. Um, we are used to like kind of like a slower pace story coming out, fleshing out the characters, making you believe the characters, making you believe this world. At least I mean, a better we story. believe that dinosaurs existed at a theme park when we were children because <laughs> oh, that's real. It's in San Diego, bro. No, that's, that's real. But we believe these things. So, and that's what makes the movie great is that you believe this world, you believe this universe, you believe all these things. And yeah. the beginning and the beginning of that film had a cool like Guy Ritchie feel to it, mm -hmm. like you know, hey, this it is was the cool. very like boom, 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 boom. stylized. I like when they introduce other yeah, characters. Yeah. They all like different so cool, cool texts that like so explain cool. who they were, and I was like, wow, gives you little so facts. Cool. I like this. And again, I feel, I, for all the good parts of the movie, there's so many bad parts of yeah. it. Shadow it. When they give uh, Deadshot like a chance to like, oh, let's see what you got, and he shoots his gun, he smells the mm. gunpowder. I'm like, yeah. that little detail. The beginning of the movie. I love, yeah. again, the beginning, beginning of, of the, the movie. movie. Yeah. And yeah. then, right. wait a minute. Second half was off. Yeah. This scene went from D nighttime? Wait a minute, now it's daytime. Yeah. Oh, but there was time in between. Oh God, but it was like, right. no. I didn't even think of that. It was like there was no beat in between. Entrance stage they didn't left. Even Katana. Try. Hi. Oh. Hi, Katana. Oh, yeah. another character they have to throw in and that like has she was nothing so to do with the Suicide Squad. I feel, I was like, I was, I was kind of excited. For, I, I like the idea of there being kind of like an equal enforcer yeah. to the group. Yeah. yeah. I was like, okay, I'm very excited to see they her. Spider Man her chemistry. 3D. Her chemistry between people, like for, right, right off the bat, like her and Harley were having like a little back and forth. I'm like, oh, I'm excited to see yeah. like their chemistry yeah, yeah, with yeah. each other. Nothing. Barely in it. Nothing I'm mad at you. 
Because my dad, my husband died. Yeah. And I have a sword that says so. Yeah. And it's just like, hair. let's just throw in another fucking yeah, like random there. Batman character. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not saying anything wrong with the character Katana. I'm just, I'm saying, it's I feel like it, was, too much. it was a little out of place. Yeah. Like true. maybe from the beginning, if you had Katana as his right hand, Rick Flagg's right hand man. It yeah, would make all these people. Sure. Yeah, instead of like, oh, but who are all these been. SEAL people? Who are yeah. all these Navy SEAL guys? Yeah. When you have a crocodile man. A guy who is the best shot in the world, who clearly shows he's really good in the movie. Will Smith is awesome in that movie. And the, the best the thing. Girlfriend I of the Joker. It's like you don't need these extra guys. And, and, the, and also another thing I was thinking, like, oh, we're building this team to like fight against Superman. Superman would fucking destroy every single one of these people. Laser, laser beam, what? Laser ice beam, breath, like, there's no, like, tornado they breath. They set their punch, dangerousness punch. up at all. He has tornado like breath too. All right, guys. So what do you? What would you rate the movie? Um, I'd probably give it five Harleys out of ten Jokers, and I know that's Ooh. high. Ooh. I know. Ooh. Hey, I yeah. know. With that being said, uh, I think that's a fair rating. Uh, I would probably give it uh, one dog out of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would like to say that. On a scale from movie to film, I would rate it a movie movie. Oh, all right, all right. I like that. Uh, personally, I would give it three bad signals out of ten, because okay. it just really did light as much as it should have. <laughs> Um, Jim Gordon didn't see it. But seriously, bottom line, I personally, this is my biggest problem, I was expecting from the beginning of the movie that Will Smith was going to say, I got to get me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> that was my biggest problem. I'm sorry. I've got to say it over and over. That was my I biggest agree. problem with Suicide Squad. Tatooine's the place with the little guys in the hoods and the two sons. The Jawas. Oh, God, yes. you want me to make <laughs> yeah, like so. This guy's going to fucking kick my what ass. Is like, Look at know. this loser over here for not knowing Star Wars trivia. <laughs> with the blue oh milk. Yes. Sorry, guys. In high school, I was just too busy getting laid. I mean... <laughs>